Hey guys, got a bit of a different one for you today. Today, we're going to go to Birmingham to pick up my good friend's um, American RV that he's recently just spent thousands of pounds um, having the insides ripped out and having a complete refresh done. So, should be an interesting one. Right, stop off, put a few electrons in, get on the supercharger. Right, we'll give that 10, 15 minutes and that'll have enough for us to get back home. So we've got 118 kilowatts here, which is uh, 480 miles an hour. So for every hour I'm plugged in, we're gonna get 480 miles of charge. But we don't need that much. We'll just say maybe 10, 15 minutes and that should be enough. Let's get on the way and see this motorhome, shall we? It's going to show us around what they've been doing to the camper van. It's a quick look at the outside. It's looking a bit dirty right now, all right? So do forgive the outside, but we're here to look at the inside. She's a big old girl. So D-N-E-L. Let me get that logo in on the back of there. There you go, custom campers. So Matt's going to show us around a couple of campers here today. Here's one they've just done. He's finished this, is it, Matt? Yes, mate. That's looking mint. Look at that. Fantastic. Wow. Oh, you've done a cracking job of that, mate. Yeah, it's a. Uh, so, was it a customer give you the vehicle? Is it as a donor or? No, this one. Uh, well, hopefully, it's uh, sold Thursday. Yeah, the man's coming. He's been a view. So, when, right, when you've done yourself from from scratch, you've, yeah. you've got the donor vehicle and done it. Yeah, we just bought the vehicle. Had it all sprayed. Put the wheels on. What year is this? Thirteen. How many births have you got here? That's a full birth. And how much is something like this going up for? We've sold that one for 34. 34 grand. I mean, there's such a market for motorhomes at the minute, isn't there? Yeah, it's a big one, big market. For conversions. And then you've got this one. This, uh, this is a full car for conversion, this one. Again, four berth? No, uh, five. Five berth? Five berth, yeah. Look at that finish of the wood. Oh, all right, go in. Yes, no problem. I do like that rear lounge like that. Wow. Fantastic, the quality there. So you got a toilet and shower? Yeah, toilet and shower. Uh, right, you're sleeping one up the top there. Yeah, one down there, that comes into a big double, double bed. Double down there. Double down there. And, and then that pulls out to And that will pull out to another. Another small double, really. Wow. Not sure we'll swap our uh, Kentucky for this, but we would fit in here. There's five of us, we'd fit in here. <laughs> And the graphics, I know there's trouble getting them on the on the logbook at the minute. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's it, uh, struggling for some reason. You've got to try and make it look not like a van, but it's getting a bit hard if I'm... I, I know, a lot of people on the think, groups are saying. I don't think they want you to swap it over, if I'm honest. Hmm. Not that it's... They're making it hard for yeah, everyone. It's just that people, I think, uh, have used the fact that they've got a camper after having a window in to get the insurance cheap, and it's all using it for work. I think that's what's killed the market off, if I'm honest. Well, but that looks like a camper if I ever saw one. Yeah. That looks fantastic. Again, this this is a, uh, a 14 plate. What kind of money is this going this is, at? It's got to be up for 40. 40 grand. Yeah. Wow. All the true mates in the couple of them. And so this is the... Right. So you've got bed up top of this one. Yeah, bed above the garage. And then the garage in the back. Let's have a quick look at the garage. Do you do a lot of these ones for uh, yeah, motorsports? We mainly do these ones for the motorbikes. Fantastic. 
Yeah, plenty of room for the bikes in there. Yeah, you get three big bikes in there. Gas over there, all the services. Nice, and a nice finish as well. Fantastic. Thanks, Matt. No problem. Lovely. So they mainly do the conversions for motorsports, but the other one we saw, full camper van. Just spotted this thing in the corner here. <laughs> That's kind of funky little old Ford truck, isn't it? Huh? How cool's that? And look at this, they've got an old Airstream in here there. They're clearly doing something too. Wow. Looks like they're gutting that out. Have a quick nose in here. Oh no. Wow. I find out what they're doing in that. We're doing an airstream here. Well, that this is going to a full car visit. It's going to be a catering van on their brilliant on their car park. Literally come in really a bad state, if I'm honest. Have you done it already? Is it yes, finished? Yes. Well, it's a 99 percent finished. Finished. Have a quick look in here. How are the lights? They working? It's not plugged in. If I'm not plugged in. Now. Okay. Just picking it up enough here. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, so it's all for catering then. All for Rip catering, out, yeah. And you put all this in. Uh, everything from scratch. Fantastic. For Thorpe Park when it opens. Yes, yeah. It should have been there already, if I'm honest. But obviously this lockdown, it's uh, got all sorts of things. Couple of sinks in it there. And another one in. I guess a fridge unit. Oh yeah, right, refrigeration unit in the back. Perfect, nice one. Right, Matt's gonna show us one that's half done now. You'll be halfway through this, are you? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, we can see it in, in the, uh, right in the middle of the conversion here. The seats are out and everything. Again, another garage one. Yeah, it's a race one. Which is the mo most of them are yeah, race vans. 90% of our work is these. The vehicles. Fantastic. Wow. Loving the finish. Loving it. It's all that modern grey look nowadays. Yeah, Everyone's going for it. This vehicle come uh, really old, dated. The, if I'm honest, in a bad state, what it got here. 2007. This isn't it. I think it is an old. One. Old old vehicle. Yeah. So uh, it's a bit different now when you walk in. Obviously, it's a lot moderner. Uh, rips everything out to the bare shell. Uh, rear posted the walls. So what have we done up? Uh, you just walk. structural the um, the bed a bit more. Taken the front off, put a new front, new door at the bottom. Replaced all so the floor. So access to the garage there. Access to the garage, yeah. Big garage at the back. And double bed up top. And double bed up top there. Yep. Toilet, shower room. Perfect. Excellent. And then the kitchen. Yeah, the kitchen's all ripped out, changed the old. You've had everything new? Everything new, yeah. So every, all the old appliances came out, a new triple X cooker in. Fantastic. New sink. Brilliant. Cupboards. As you can see. Uh, I guess the control panel's up there, is it? No, it's not got a control panel in oh, it. Yeah, normally above no, the door, no. isn't it? I think it's in this cab, if I'm honest. And then. Uh, fridge, big fridge in here. That's more storage, as this is what you need mostly, storage. Plenty of storage. More storage as you can get. And more cupboards there. And uh, obviously you could have this, the uh, U-shaped seating area done. Fantastic. Nice big table for him. And I'll overlay some photos of what this looked like before, but you know these old American, I mean it's 13 years old with all the brown wood and so it looks much more modern now, doesn't it? Yeah. All up the front. He did have access from the cab, didn't he? But he didn't want that. He wanted the wraparound seating area instead, didn't he? Yeah. And more cupboards there. Still, it looks fantastic. You happy with that? Yeah. I agree. It is. It looks great. And this was, how much was this to do? 13 and a half grand? I paid mine, yeah, 13 and a half for the um, conversion that Matt's done. Brilliant. Brilliant. Spin round, Matt. Let me give you logo on here again. D-N-E-L-C-C, -C, Custom Campers, D-N-E-L, Custom Campers, and that's Birmingham. Yeah. Here's the back of Stuart's van. 
what he does is um, you'll see he's into motocross. Him and his boy do motocross, or did do motocross when we could move around, so yeah. So that's what he used it for, and the whole family makes a whole weekend of it going away, and all enjoy the motocross, so that's what he keeps in there. So, awesome, thanks for showing me the vans today, they are fantastic, mainly race vans. Yes, race vans. So like this one here that's in the middle of the conversion, I mean, what kind of money are we expect if somebody brings a van to you to get that done? Well, the, the vlog uh, bought me this van as a shell, I put the windows in, uh, insulated, first fix electrics, boarded, plywood, new conversion kit, uh, water tanks, undersung water tanks, Truma heating system, uh, seat air shower, flush toilet, for everything as in more or less top of the range stuff, you're looking to about 17 grand for that. Perfect. That's Perfect. all in, including. So that other camper over there, the five berth you showed me, talk me through how much is that? That's going to be a little more than 17 yeah, grand. Yeah, it's around about 21 that is. Perfect. Uh, the U section seating area comes in. I like that at bed. the back and yeah. that little bunk over the top yeah, of the that. Bunk beds for just the kid really, just to put them out of the way and it's, it's ideally. Perfect. There's a couple of people asked me to do that for them, so that's what we do. As a but that's coming with the fridge, it's coming with the with everything. Yeah, I mean, CRX 65 fridge, uh, Truma system, not no cheap stuff, it's literally top of the range stuff for the... And rear post in the seats, many yeah, don't do that as exactly, well. Exactly, yes. Um, most people just cover the seats up where I take them off and rear, rear post of the seats so it's properly done. Fantastic. If the foam's a bit dodgy underneath, I do all the foam and it's all matching all through Brilliant. the cab lines and under some water tanks and stuff like that. You're right, you forget about them things as well, yeah, the water the, tanks. Yeah, little things that add up, uh, people forget about stuff like that, you see. Uh, so 17 gets you a race van, 21 approximately gets you a proper camper van camper. conversion. Yeah. And that's that's a little cheaper than your competition, I think. You're, look, oh, you're yeah, pretty we, competitive in the market. Well, yeah, but that's why we booked up for uh, six or seven months. Now six or seven months you booked up for, yeah. that is fantastic. Doing quite well at the moment. We're going to put your details down below in the description anyway, so anyone wants to get in touch. Yeah, thank thanks you buddy, much. thanks no, so much. No problem, thank you. So there it is guys, a um, bit of a different video today. Um, hope you liked it. It was a good excuse to give Stuart a lift to go and get his motor home and have a look around uh, DNEL custom conversion. So um, I like what they're doing. They seem pretty good price. I mean, 17 grand for a base conversion for everything, as he explained. And 21 for a five berth motor home. You take the van, they'll kit it out completely with everything. So like I said, I'll put a link in the description below. They are booked up six months in advance though, so. But um, hope you liked the video, and we'll see you on the next one.